If you've ever been in an unhealthy relationship, it's probably because you didn't know how to set boundaries. Dr. Henry Cloud literally wrote the book on the subject, and he's also extended his expertise on boundaries into the workplace. There are leaders at work, at home, and at play. One thing is sure, no matter how great the vision, a leader can only get things done with and through the people they lead. Dr. Henry Cloud is a clinical psychologist and best-selling author. He says that as a leader, sometimes you get results, and sometimes you don't. In his book, Boundaries for Leaders, Dr. Cloud shares how his seven leadership boundaries work, so you can create the kind of place where people can and will be their best. Please welcome back to the 700 Club, Dr. Henry Cloud. It's great to have you back with us. It's always good to be here. For people who might not have read the initial writings that you did on boundaries, talk a little bit about what boundaries are. How do you define them? Well, basically, a boundary is a property line. You know, if you think of your yard, it's got a property Absolutely. line around it. And, and we are designed to have control of our own property. That's called self-control. But we don't like that. We <laughs> like to reach over the fence and try to control everybody else. And likewise, other people's behavior sometimes end up falling into our yard and affecting us. And so yeah. boundaries are really about trying to order relationships mm -hmm. so everybody's in control of, of themselves and not each other. Yeah. And it affects every single area of our lives, doesn't it? Every area. Yeah. I mean, it, I wrote a book called Boundaries for Leaders, and, and people say, well, who are the leaders? And yes. I said, well, you know, it could be mom trying to get the kids ready for school to get in the van by 8 yes. o'clock, or it yes. could be somebody who's leading a global enterprise. There are principles of boundaries that apply whenever we interact with people. Well, this is your latest, The Boundary for Leaders. Talk a little bit about what benefit there is to leaders in setting boundaries, and likewise, what problems there are if we don't. Well, you know, it's interesting. Leadership can go on sort of two ends of things. You know, mm -hmm. people can can kind of abdicate leadership and think yeah. everybody's got to go do the work, or they can get in your face and be, yeah. you know, controlling everything. It's fine line and, sometimes. And <laughs> exactly. And, and here's what we know. You know, if, if all leaders, whether you're leading kids or a department or a team or a company, mm -hmm. If, if all leaders are basically trying to do the same thing, you know, you got a vision, you engage talent, you execute on a strategy, you hold people accountable, and you try to get a result. If everybody's doing the same thing, why do some leaders get results and others don't? Yeah. And when we study that, what we find is a lot of it is because some leaders are leading people in ways that the people's brains can actually follow them, yeah. and other leaders are not. And they're, they're they're confusing the people in their leadership and they're demoralizing them and a bunch of other factors. So how do you deal with that as, <clears throat> as a leader, whether you are a mom in the home or a CEO in the, the marketplace? Yeah. Because the people who work for you all come to you with different receptors. You know, they right. hear differently, they function differently, they're motivated by different things. How do you... Right, and, and there, there are certainly individual differences, but there are some universals that you can bank on. And, and, and what I talk about that, you know, in everything you lead. Everybody wants something that, that, that will anchor us, <laughs> yes. right? Well, the first one is the brain needs to know what to attend to, what to not attend to, and you got to keep that in front of people all the time. So clear direction. The great leaders give the boundaries a very clear direction, and they don't confuse their people with a new main thing every mm. day. <laughs> Secondly, interestingly enough, what we know about the brain is the high-performance brain, the chemicals that actually drive it, only fire in a positive emotional environment. And leaders that use anger and, and threat and control of all that, they're, they're actually deactivating the thinking brain and they're activating what's called the fight or flight brain, which causes people to resist them or to want to go away. Yeah. So that's two examples. A third one would be, you'd start to... Well, no, I, w I was just going to say that's so, you know, I, I'm just thinking as a mom with children, how oh, every yeah. child's so unique. I mean, you really need to know your people. You do need to know your people. And that would be a third one is that, that connected leaders are the leaders that, that people actually follow. And when we talk about connection, it's not just being in somebody's face. It's really able, and this is what great leaders do, mm -hmm. they get out of their own skin and try to understand the reality of what the people they're leading is really like. Yeah. You know, what's it like to follow them? What's their work day like? What's the marketplace like? What is the strategy like for them? Mm -hmm. Because if you're trying to impose something 
and not knowing the reality of the people you're trying to pose it upon, it's not going to work. So talk a little bit about the statement you make that, that good leaders need to be, quote, ridiculously in charge. Ridiculously in charge. How do you do that without being in someone's face or pressuring them? I mean, that would be your initial interpretation right. of that, but that's but you talk about it. Right. If, if, if everybody could kind of get yeah. this one sentence in their head, what you're finding in your family or your organization or your teams is basically what you're either you are creating or you're allowing. Mm. Okay, if you're in charge, doesn't mean you have to control and micromanage everybody, but if you're in charge, the culture you're getting, the results you're getting, you're either creating that mess or you may not be creating it, but you're allowing, allowing it. it. So for leaders to be ridiculously in charge basically means as a leader, you got to own it and say, yeah. look, you know, I am the one that's been put in charge of this. It doesn't mean I have to micromanage or control or, or any of that be mm -hmm. in people's face. What it means is if this culture isn't working, if this church body isn't functioning and I'm the shepherd, I am ridiculously in charge and yeah. I've got to do what Something leaders need it. to do. Mm -hmm. So you also say that you need to be hard on the issue but soft yeah. on the person. Yeah. You know, there's a great theme throughout the scriptures, and you see a lot of different words, but my favorites are like grace and truth. Yeah, I like or mercy too. <laughs> mercy and righteousness. <laughs> yeah. But you always see those two in parallel because yeah. that's the nature of God. He is a God who is for us and compassionate, but He's hard on the issue. You yeah. know, He has yeah. right ways and wrong well, ways of doing good. stuff. Where we mess up, in leadership, parenting, everything else is, we'll either be loving and not stand up for the real expectations of how things have to be done and hold people accountable, or we hold people accountable and we're not very loving, mm -hmm. right? So we split it. God, God is together in that. And, and it's, it's, it's crazy in that when you start to look at the neuroscience, you would think that the person that designed the brain read the Bible. It just looks yeah. that way. I think he might have. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, because, might have. <laughs> because we're relationally wired, but we're also performance yes. wired. And the scriptures speak to that, and all of research validates it. And one of the things I love about all of your books and Boundaries for Leaders, the latest one is certainly like this. It is biblical, biblically principled in sure. everything yeah. that you share. And it's awesome. Whether you're a mom or a CEO, you need to read it. It's always great to have you it's here. You leave us with, with great things to think well, about. You do great stuff. Thank you. God bless you. By the way, available wherever books are sold.